today. Um, combinations we'll do on Thursday, and then we'll kind of decipher between the two and how you choose which one you're going to use. So permutation is an arrangement of objects in which order is important. Okay, so that is the distinction between that combination as order is very important when it comes to permutation. Commonly misused wording. A locker combination should really be called a locker permutation because the order you put the numbers in really does matter. A true locker combination would accept both 10, 17, 23, and 23, 17, 10 and wouldn't matter when the numbers were put in their order or not. So really you should call it a locker permutation. I know y'all don't really use locker combinations that much anymore. Um, let's see a few things where order is important. Stacking items, batting orders, seeking on a road trip. Permutations we've already done and we didn't even actually know it when we were doing our work last week when we were doing the fundamental counting principle on our factorials. How many ways can Bruno Mars arrange a tour in 12 cities. Like, which city is he going to first? That order is important. How many ways can the value order on a nine-person baseball team be set? So that order is important because we want to know who's going to go first, and who's going to go last, who's going to go fourth, so the order is important. And how many ways can paintings line up on a wall? And so all those we would be using permutation. So the first example I want to talk about is a sitting arrangement or a road trip. You and five friends go on a road trip. How many different ways can you sit? Okay, so if you look at this vehicle, you'll see that there are six seats available. And you have five people going on the road trip. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to create five spaces. Okay, and then you are choosing out of six seats. That's your total. So first I'm going to do six, because I have six people to choose, or six spaces to choose from. And then I'm going to use five, four, three, two. I don't go all the way down to one, but that part doesn't really matter because you're just be multiplying by one. Because I only have five people going. So if you did the math with that, it would be 720. Okay, so something new I want to show you. Um, and this is on continuous slides on here, um, is that your n is your total amount that you're choosing from. So your n in this case is 6. Your r is how many actual are you choosing, and that would be 5 in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can type this in your calculator. Yes, you can do 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and know how many spaces, which would be 5 to set up. But you could also use your probability button on your calculator that you practice with factorial. So what you would do is you would type in 6 in your calculator and then you would go to probability. Remember graphing calculators, you had to hit the math button first. And then you would go um, to the NPR button. So it looks like this. And you push that button and then you would put 5. And if you did 6P5 and you hit enter, you would also get 720. Okay, same answer, just a different way. We were using spaces before, and then we can also use by making sure we know the total and our choosing amount, which would be R. So let's do some more examples. Of course, probability is lots of examples and making sure we can follow along. Feel free to always pause this video and make sure you can do the math in your calculator as we go, because that part is pretty important. All right, how many different ways can you arrange the letters in the word June? So I already created the four spaces. And I have four letters to choose from to put in the first space. So I'm going to jumble these up. So I have four to choose from. Say I put an E first. Then I only have three to choose from, two to choose from, and then one to choose from that's left over for the last spot. So if I do that, I will multiply them all across and I will get 24. But what I can also do is I have my N is my total of four letters. I'm choosing four letters. So my R will be 4 as well. So I can type in 4, go to my probability button, and do NPR, 4. And that should give you the answer of 24 as well. Just a different way of doing the math. Either way, you need to know the total amount that you are choosing from and the amount that you're actually choosing from, which is your R. Okay, so let's talk about arranging with repetition. Okay, Alabama. Alabama has a repeat of A four times. So if I switch the two A's, it's still going to say Alabama. So we do want to make sure we can arrange Alabama and see how many different ways we can arrange it. So we would have our 
seven letters, and we could do seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, but we want to take out the repeats. So we are going to set it up like this, and we have four repeats of the A. And I don't want to repeat that over and over and over because when I switch them around, they're going to still look at the same word. So what you're actually doing is you're in your total amount of letters divided by, in this case, your R, you're choosing to take out the repeats. So practice this in your calculator. Um, some people might need to put parentheses in their calculator for this part. We practiced that on Thursday with the factorials. And you should get 210. So in this case, we want to take out the repeats because if we rearrange those letters A's, it would not matter. All right, so let's talk about Norcross. Norcross has eight letters. So I would want to set it up like this. Eight factorial. And I would want to take out the repeats. So if I take those two O's and I switch them around, it's still going to spell Norcross. So I'm going to take out two factorial. I have two R's, so I'm going to take out two factorial. And I have two S's, so I'm going to take out two factorial. So practice plugging this in your calculator. Eight factorial divided by two factorial, two factorial, two factorial. Again, some calculators you would need the parentheses at the bottom. But try it out. You should be getting the answer of 5,040. Okay? Feel free to pause this video at any time. Oh, let's do Mississippi. That has lots of repeats. So Mississippi, you have 11 letters. And we have the I repeated four times, the S repeated four times, and the P repeated two times. So you want to take out those repeats. So practice plugging this in your calculator. You should be getting an answer of 34,000. 650. So again, pause this video so you can practice plugging this in your calculator. But just make sure that you know you're not just doing 11 factorial because you have letters you can switch around and it would look the same. Alright, permutation is the number of permutations an n objects taken r at a time is given by this formula. So you could plug it into this formula, but our calculators actually do it for you. So you just need to make sure that you decide which one is your n and which one is your r. And that is the important part. So n is your total number in the group. r is the number you are choosing. And then make sure you know how to type in your calculator, hit the probability button, or go to math first, then probability on the graphing calculator, so if you have one. All right, so we just want to practice a few. So I'm going to grab my calculator too. 11 P5. When I say P, that means the permutation. My total would be 11 and my R would be 5. So typing that in, I go to hit 11. My calculator, go to the probability, and PR button, and then 5. You should be getting the answer 55,440. And it's just some practice with computation. Alright, and then for permutation 4. We should be getting 24. So again, pause this video, practice on your catheter, make sure you can plug it in with your permutation. You'll have to do this for the quiz and for your Delta Math assignment as well. All right, with probability, there's always examples. And so obviously today we're doing permutation, so all these are permutation problems. Um, the important part is that you look at the wording for it, so we are going to be able to decipher between this and combination, which we'll be learning about on Thursday. How many ways can you choose a president, vice president, and secretary from a club that has 20 members? So first we want to decide how many do we have total, which is 20. And the reason this is a permutation problem is because they are assigning positions, president, vice president, and secretary. So in this case, there are three positions being assigned. So we can go and plug in our calculator doing 20 the NPR button, and 3. So if we do that, we get 6,840. But we could also set it up with our spaces like we did last week. We would have three spaces because there are three positions, and you can even label them president, vice president, and secretary. And to choose how many people for president would be 20. And then after you choose a president, you would have 19. And after the vice president, you would have sec the secretary, and you'd have 18. 
and you can multiply 20 times 19 times 18, and also you will get 6,840. Sometimes the spaces um, aren't as easy just because you have a lot going on. In this case, there was only three positions, so it was easy to write out. But know that you can go to your calculator and plug it in as well, as long as you know which one is your N, your total that you're choosing, and your R is the total that you're actually choosing. All right. Let's talk about a four-digit PIN number. How many ways can it be created from the digits 0 through 9? Okay, so 0 through 9, we have 10 options. And we want a four-digit pin. Okay, so our N would be 10. Our R would be 4. So we can set this up as N, P, 4. And go to our calculators. And sorry, I'm going to plug this in. I didn't have this one written down in front of me. N, 4. Getting 5,040. If you wanted to do it using your spaces, in this case you could, you would do four spaces. And they said none of them could be repeated. So I would start, I would have 10 options for my first number in my pen. And then I can't repeat, so I'm going to go down to nine options, to eight options, to seven options. And if you do 10 times 9 times 8 times 7, you would also get 5,040. So with permutations, you can still set up your spaces or you can use your probability button that has NPR.